I always thank my God for you because of his grace you given you in Jesus Christ. For in him you have been enriched in every way with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge. God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore, you do not have a lack of, of spiritual gift as eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. All right, so grace. There's a, a, a really interesting word that, that we use in many different ways. We dance with grace. We walk with grace. We say grace over a meal in order to give thanks to God for providing us with food. Grace is also a name that, that is used when speaking with the Holy Spirit. But let's stick with that one. Let's stick with grace as the Holy Spirit. Because that is the particular grace that was left behind when Jesus Christ ascended into heaven. So, as I was I was speaking with a, with a friend about some other uh, topics and issues, uh, political things that are happening in our world that maybe we're paying attention, maybe we're not paying attention to, but it was the conversation that followed after that that we started talking about things that God provides for us and how if we hold faith that the Holy Spirit dis descends upon us and gives us grace Again, I told you that the Holy Spirit and and, and grace um, kind of come to each other, and we were talking about things that we should be grateful for, and things that we should should be cherishing, like our own freedom, and. There, 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 which kind of led back to the first conversation we were having about how we should be, the political thing, how we should be paying attention to what is going on around us. But, God gives us free will. He gives us the grace in order for us to walk in the path that he's provided for us. But he gives us the free will to choose our own way. And to find our way back to him, and most of us, as we know, probably choose the longest way back to him than maybe one of the shorter ways. That we forget about faith, and we, and many come back to God out of a last resort. That we need to find our way back because of that. But that's okay too, because in this reading, we are told that 
that's okay that we we come back to God because we find our faith again it's a short passage but it is it talks about the spiritual gifts that Jesus Christ has given to us that we don't necessarily have to worry about if we wander off of God's path because his path is there and he'll help us get to it he'll help us if we open ourselves up to us and we open ourselves to the faith and then and with that that when we start to believe we start to see the beauty that is his kingdom and that we can actually see that kingdom right where we're sitting now because we start to see the love that is in people's hearts we were also talking about some of, of that in how at some point it does matter in some point it doesn't matter um, about how we we walk that line with faith that God will always give us every opportunity to be with him and that every opportunity to find our way to his kingdom to find our way to that I'm not su suggesting that we go out there and we do all kinds of evil because we know that God is always going to welcome us um, into the fold no I wouldn't suggest that at all But when we stumble, don't be so ashamed of the stumbling that we lose complete track of our faith. That we fall so far into desperation that we keep wandering further and further from the path that God wants for us. That becomes the problem. You see, God gives us grace. He gives us the Spirit. He's given us Jesus Christ. He's given us so many things, so many ways of us finding His love. That He, the message is clear. He wants us to find His love. He wants to love us. He wants. To to cherish us. He wants us to do the same to him. He wants us to love and cherish him also. God's love is a template for a lot of things. And when we start to think about think about him as a parent, think about him as a brother or a sister, think about him as a neighbor. And all those templates, when we look at them, all lead back to the same thing, that we are to be loving, kind, and open to what it is that our brothers and sisters need open to what our children need open to what the person who lives right around the corner from us needs and be willing to help be willing to help them in the most effective way possible 
when it comes to that help that we don't judge somebody because we help them we don't hold it over their head because we help them we help them because that is what they need and that is the right thing to do we don't help people because we want something in return God helps us all the time he offers us a path back to him but not because he wants anything from us he has what he needs he has it all Something about that omnipotent, omniscient thing, right? He has it all. Someone once said that God does not need to receive, but we as man, we need to give. So think about that. We don't need to give to, to God. We don't need to. But for our own sakes, not for God's sakes. I'm going to say this as as a reminder. Um, for we all have brothers, we all have sisters, we all have neighbors, we all have children in one way or another maybe not by birth but by way of the fact that they live near us and they are dear to our hearts remember to tell the, all those who we love and that we cherish that we do tell them don't hold back and wait till the last moments. Don't hold back and wait till the last moments to tell God that you love him. Do it now. Do it now because you can right now. No other reason than you can. Let us pray. God, thank you for giving us everything that we have. Help. Thank you for providing for us whatever it is that we need. And whatever it is that we don't even realize that we need. Thank you for the grace that you give us. Thank you for your son Jesus Christ to show us the way. Thank you for all the prophets that you sent to tell us about your son, to tell us about your love. Thank you for the free will that you offer so we can simply decide to choose you. Amen.